On June 10, 1968, the tourist trophy races on the Isle of Man, the biggest event in world champion motorcycle road racing, got underway in fine weather. The sun is shining brightly from a clear blue sky. Yamaha entered the races, its racing team led by Phil Reed and Bill Ivey. Since Yamaha's first appearance in 1958, Japanese Yamahas have earned numerous honors in international races and have gained worldwide reputation for their excellent racing performance. The Yamaha racing team boasts brilliant records in the past with straight victories won in TT races on the Isle of Man from 1964 to 1967. Yamaha has again turned up on the Isle of Man, this year with its best riders and mechanics, intending to win more laurels in TT races. The TT races on the Isle of Man have a long history, dating as far back as 1907. The course, as well as the events in TT racing, have changed considerably since the first one in 1907. The race is now run on a mountain course, and one lap covers 38.37 miles. This is a twisting, dangerous course with 219 small and large curves, including hairpin curves, and with differential altitudes ranging up to 13,115 feet. Many motorcyclists from many nations want to compete in the TT races at least once in a lifetime, and it is the ambition of most manufacturers to have their machines win at the TT races. The going is tough. To win a title in the TT races requires not only a high performance machine, but also good teamwork between riders and mechanics. Yamaha's racing team has always displayed the best teamwork in this respect. Here is the Yamaha team answering questions during a press interview before the start of the race. The Yamaha machines are ready to start and are being taken to be inspected. Riders and mechanics of the Yamaha team are full of self-confidence. Before the start of the race, all participating machines undergo strict examination. The Yamahas are ready to run. The ace riders for Yamaha are Phil Reed and Bill Ivey. Reed was the 250cc class world champion in 1964 and 1965. 
Ivy was the 125cc world champion in 1967. The 250cc class race is about to start. Number 10 Reed and number 21 Ivy, both Yamaha drivers, get off to a good start. They are expected to set good records in the race. The two Yamaha riders, each on a new Autolube five-port four-cylinder machine, outstrip the forerunners in the first half of the first lap to take the leadership in the race. Number 21, Ivy, steadily pulls away from his teammate, number 10, Reed, and completes the first lap about 14 seconds ahead of Reed. Ivy sets an outstanding lap record of 21 minutes, 27.4 seconds. This lap record lopped 12.8 seconds off the previous record established by M. Halewood riding on a six-cylinder Honda last year. From the second lap, the two Yamaha riders dominate the race, but who will win? Ivy or Reed. Ivy drops into the pits. Good teamwork between rider and mechanic gets him back in the race without delay. After refueling his machine, Ivy returns to the race. Then Reed pulls into the pits. Ivy crossing Governor's Bridge, followed by his teammate, Reed. In the second half of the fourth lap, Reed runs into bad luck with a rear tire puncture, forcing him to drop out of the race during that lap. In the meantime, Ivy almost completes the fourth lap, taking a three minute, 30 second lead over his nearest rival, Pasolini on a Benelli. Ivy finishes the race to win the championship with a good clocking of two hours, 16 minutes, 24.8 seconds. Finishing second is Pasolini on a Benelli, followed by Rosner on an MZ and uphill on a Suzuki. During the race, Ivy strained his ankle. 
However, he continued to race and spectators were greatly impressed. The topic of conversation in the race was the Yamaha TD1 250cc racer, the most powerful machine in its class, which is now available on the market. Riders on Yamaha TD1s accounted for eight of the 13 winners of silver trophies from A Gold on a TD1 who finished fifth down to a rider finishing 17th. On June 12th, the 125cc class race took place. From the Yamaha racing team, Reed and Ivy were entered in this race, riding number two and number nine. Before the starting time, moments of tension. Now the race starts. Here are the Yamaha machines getting started. They are trailing blue smoke, exclusive with Yamaha Auto Lube, a revolutionary new mechanism. set a lap record of over 100 miles an hour on an official practice run is slightly leading the race and sets an incredible lap record of 100.32 miles per hour for this class and runs about 11 seconds ahead of his teammate Reed in the second lap. high speeds of the Yamaha machines attract the attention of spectators massed around the course. both in 1965 and 1967, skillfully pulls up to Ivy and finally outruns his teammate at the critical moment. He is now finishing the race to win the championship for the 125cc class for the third time. finishes first, followed by Ivy, also on a Yamaha. Reed set a new record of one hour, eight minutes, 31.4 seconds. 
Ivy also broke the previous record. Thus, a Yamaha has won championships in the TT125 class for four consecutive years, including 1966, when Ivy captured the title. Yamaha is the first racer to have won four straight victories in this class. Yamaha's team members with victory smiles on their faces. Reed and his wife are a focus of the camera flashes from newspaper reporters and cameramen. This kind of excitement can be enjoyed only by members of the Yamaha team. It's a great honor to have been a member of the Yamaha team. This achievement is the result of concerted efforts by riders, mechanics, and the manufacturer of Yamaha machines. Yamaha boasts of its technology and product quality. Based on the great achievements of its racers, Yamaha is also striving day and night to improve the quality of its commercial vehicles. Thus, Yamaha advances into world markets as a champion of the motorcycle industry, going ahead of the times and promising a bright future. As a result, Yamaha succeeded in capturing the manufacturer championships in both the 125cc and 250cc classes in the TT races on the Isle of Man in 1968.